Just like that. Let's go. <laughs> Mecca. The pure land. The land of Ibrahim alayhi salam. The land of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The land of Zamzam water. And finally, the land of all Muslims. Hi, hello, welcome back to a new video. If this is the first time for you watching this video, welcome. Nice to meet you. My name is Ines. And what I do in my channel, Ready for a Better Life, is to give you some advice and some information that can help you to get a healthy and better life. So for today's topic, um, I decided or you decided because I asked you on Instagram what do you want really to watch and you have choose Shawqi ila Mecca which is my belonging to Mecca um, it is a really really interesting topic uh, because Mecca is the land is the pure land is um, the land that means a lot for us for all of Muslims and to be honest, I feel like I've already missed it, even if I never visited it before. It's, um, you cannot have this feeling with another country, but just with Mecca. It's so, just so special. And I don't know if I am the only one missing uh, Mecca, even if I never visited it before, or you are all like me. I think it is a special feeling um, to go to Mecca. And just to know, um, an important information is that Mecca is known as the center of the world. Um, so we have the whole world, the, you know, this global world. And Mecca, uh, more precisely Al-Kaaba, is the center of the world. And so this is the reason why, actually, um, in our Qibla, in our prayers, we try to follow the direction of the Kaaba because it is actually the center of so the world. So actually, my story uh, with Mecca is really, really, really special. Um, like, I never visited before, but it doesn't mean that I didn't have a relationship with this pure land. Um, since I was a little girl, actually, um, I, my grandmother was making, you know, um, this channel where you see, um, Al Kaaba and you see, uh, yeah, you see Al Kaaba, you see, uh, just millions of Muslims, uh, doing the Tawaf, Tawaf, which means actually turning around the Kaaba seven times, um, and, yeah, it was a really special thing. Uh, you know, it's not just like the other channels. It was a really, uh, um, a really special channel, I guess. Um, because it just, it is just really, really special for, from uh, my heart. And as I was uh, growing up, um, actually, I, I. I was raised in a Muslim family, so um, it becomes a really, you know, like a habit installed in your daily routine to see uh, the Kaaba, to see the Muslims. And I was wondering, like, what is the feeling if one day I will go visit the Kaaba and this pure land? It, will, it would really be a special moment. Um, Allahumma alhimna ziyarat uh, uh, al-Kaaba uh, wal-Haram sharif May Allah accept our du'as uh, to visit this pure land, inshallah. We make this channel like in every special occasion, in the greatest occasions like Eid al-Fitr, but, but more specifically in uh, Eid al-Adha. And so... Yeah, it is a really special moment um, to see uh, Muslims say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, and takbirat, and all of these things, uh, like lahmak yaqshair, 
um, I don't know how to say it in English, but you're like just having a special feeling uh, when you hear them saying this, uh, saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. As I was growing up, actually, um, I have seen some um, shows about it. Um, I have seen the, you know, this uh, show of Ahmed al-Shaqiri. Um, I don't know if you have seen it before, but I really recommend it to you. Um, so he show us every corner um, of the Al-Haram of Mecca, and it's really, really interesting. I like watch it like seven times or something like that. I really want to show it to everyone because it is a really interesting thing and I have learned a lot of things that I didn't knew that actually exist in the in Mecca. I really recommend it to you and to know that actually in this holy month um, the doors of the paradise are opened, are opened. So take the occasion to make du'as to visit one day um, this pure land, to visit one day Mecca and make du'as and make du'as and make du'as. Don't tell yourself that, oh, it is so expensive, I can't go right there. Believe me that if you make du'as, especially on this month, the month of Ramadan, the doors of the paradise are open and Allah can accept your prayer, can give you uh, this chance to visit, uh, to visit. So, um, I will tell you a story that happened to me. Actually, I dreamed a lot of times um, about Mecca, and the special time that I dreamed about it was the last year uh, in Arafa. So, those who doesn't know Arafa, it is the day before uh, Eid al-Adha. And so um, I dreamed that I was in Mecca and that I have seen the Kaaba right in front of my eyes. I dreamed that actually I was the only one right there. Um, there was no, no one right there. I was just alone in that pure land. And there was someone besides me who actually gave me a tour of the whole Kaaba. Subhanallah, with no exaggeration, Wallahi, I'm not lying, it is the truth. And I am still shocked actually that I dreamed about it. So I have a, someone with me uh, who guided me through all Al Haram Sharif. So he told me, like, right here we have Maqam Ibrahim, and right there uh, we have Al Hajar Al Aswad. And like it was so special and I remember it very, very well. Um, and it was the night, actually. I remember that it was the night um, and it was so special. I just really, really, really felt that I was just right there. I was standing um, just to tell you how much I remember my dream. I remember that I saw the tissue of the Kaaba with my eyes. Like, <laughs> what is that? Like the details, I saw the details of the details. Um, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah that Allah gave me this dream. It was so special. It was so that special that actually when I woke up, it was like around three to four a.m. of the morning, I woke up and I started to cry and I cried and I cried and I cried and I couldn't stop of crying because Allah gave me this chance to see the Kaaba. And when? The day of Arafah. Oh my God, subhanAllah al-Azim. Insha'Allah, I wish that all of you will visit it one day or at least dream about it. Um, so this is why actually I wrote in the title My Belonging to Mecca because um, after that dream, um, it is really the first destination that I want to visit one day. 
uh, this peaceful land, the land of mercy, of baraka, of risk. Um, it's just really so special. Um, and yeah, so since that day, since the last year, uh, the Yom of Arafah, as you know, Yom of Arafah is really special and to dream a dream like that is just so, so, so huge. And from that day, I took it like a sign to actually, it would be my first destination, inshallah, one day uh, to go and, and visit it. Uh, like since that day, I really, really start to miss um, Mecca, even though um, I never visited it before, <laughs> but I really miss it already. Um, and this is why actually I wrote my belonging to Mecca. Um, I hope that this video, um, that you liked this video actually, I hope that this video get through your heart. Um, I want to also thank you so much for your support. Um, as you know, I uh, get the 1000 subscribers in this channel, bifadlillah. Um, and and this is why I told you the doors of paradise are really well, great, open. So if you have some times that you wish, just make du'as for it because Allah is going to accept it for you, especially on this, um, on this month. Um, and so don't forget to subscribe and um, hit the button and uh, share this video with your loved ones with uh, with your family, your friends. Um, and I will say see you the next video inshallah. Bye. <laughs>